Okay, so going up the side, we have our number of tiles. And we're gonna just number this. Let's actually do it by two, four, six, eight. I went ahead and skipped the odds and just put the evens. Here's the origin. I'm counting up by fours. Because I'm noticing when I look at the number of tiles that we got that all of these have four as a factor. Right, four times five is 20 and four times seven. So that's why I chose four to go up. And let's go ahead and graph some of these points. We have four and 20. I just poked a hole in my paper. <laughs> we have six and all the way up to 28. Eight's gonna be at 36. 10 is going up to 44. And I'm not gonna get my 12 on there. Does this look like it's going to go through the origin? No. Yeah, it's not. I don't have a ruler up here, but I think I can use this to get a good straight line. It's going to go through the four. If I could get my line straight. So is it proportional? No, because it's starting at four. What, what, what are those four? Where in the design did those four come from? Nathan? The corners. It's the corners, right? It doesn't matter what our side length is, we have those four. So I go back to thinking about what Andy said. I like both of your ways of finding it, but when you said we're gonna multiply it by four and then add four, these were the four that he was adding. Right? And you accounted for it by taking the side length and adding one to each of the sides. There's one thing that's missing from my graph. We've got labels. What we're missing is a title. Border tiles for square pond could be something we'd label it. So we're going to come over here and we're going to capture some of those ways we found to get those tile numbers. And I'm going to say that X is our side length. And Y is the number of tiles. We had two equations that came out of this class. One was, basically you took the side length and you added one, right? So one of them was saying four times x plus one. That's what was coming up here. Yours was different. The other way we found it was 4x plus 4. I want you guys to really look at these two equations and see how they're related to each other. 
-hmm. Yeah, this one here is basically undistributed. And this one has this four multiplied to this and the four mm -hmm. multiplied to this. They are the same equation, just written two different ways. We would call this one undistributed or factored, and this one is distributed. Okay. Um, I think we've actually answered the rest of these because this just wants us to say what the X and Y equals. Is this graph proportional? Let's just answer this real quick before we clean up. Is this proportional? Why do we know it's not? because it doesn't go through the origin, okay? If you could please, 